Welcome to the next section of the course. We've got a lot more ground to cover when it comes to classes, and this section is focused on the subject of inheritance. So what is inheritance? Inheritance is a design pattern in which a class inherits, or in other words, receives, attributes and methods that are defined in one or more other classes. Why do we do this? Well, inheritance helps us to organize related classes and to reduce duplication in our code. There's a couple of technical terms that we need to discuss here in order to make this concept make more sense. We have a class that is being inherited from, and we have the class that is actually inheriting the attributes and the methods. So the class that is being inherited from is sometimes called the parent class, the super class, or the base class. And all those words should sort of make sense. The parent in the sense of the parent gives birth to the child, right? The super class in the sense that super means above, right? Just like Superman flies above the, cloud, the, the crowd. The super class indicates the class that is above the other one. And the base class sort of means the class from which everything else begins. In contrast, the class that does the inheriting that receives the attributes and methods from the super class is called the child, the subclass, or the derived class. It's called the child because it inherits attributes and methods from a parent, just like we do, just like we inherit our traits from our parents. The child class is the class that inherits something from a parent class. It's also called a subclass. The reason it's called a subclass is because the word sub means below. So just like super means above, sub means below. So this is a class that sits below and takes something from the parent, from the class that sits above it. And now a few notes on what is actually being inherited. So all public and protected attributes, and as a reminder, protected attributes are those that begin with a single underscore, all of those will be inherited by the subclass, as will be dunder methods. In comparison or in contrast, private name mangled attributes, those are the ones that begin with double underscores, will not be inherited by a subclass. So I want to get to the code really quickly so we can show you the benefits of inheritance, but the big picture here is that a well-designed inheritance scheme reduces duplication in code because it allows a subclass to retain all of the functionalities of a superclass, but also be able to define additional attributes and methods that are only available on the subclass, okay? So it's a lot of complexity and this is intended to be kind of a big picture overview. We're going to dive into all of these specifics uh, when we get into the code, the most important takeaway in this lesson is for you to start thinking about the relationship between a subclass and its superclass. And that relationship can be described as a type of relationship. So what do I mean by a type of relationship? Well, that means that the subclass can be described as a type of the parent class. It is a more specific thing of the thing that it is inheriting from. For example, if we were to say a coffee shop is a type of store, right? Uh, what that means is coffee shop could be described as a subclass of the superclass store, right? So store is going to be the more generalized one in this case. And in code, similarly, the superclass will serve as the more generalized class, while the subclass will serve as the more specific type. Another example here, a horse is a type of animal. All horses are going to be animals, but not all animals are going to be horses, right? So a horse is a type of animal, and it can be described as a subclass of an animal superclass. Similarly, a train is a type of vehicle. Uh, every train is going to be a vehicle, but not every vehicle is going to be a train. You're, you're going to start to notice that kind of relationship when we start talking about subclasses because it's these exact real life ideas that we're going to try to represent in code and inheritance offers us one way that we can accomplish that in our code base. There is actually debate about whether inheritance is the best design pattern. There are other uh, advocates who say it's not the best thing to do, but I do want to make sure you get exposed to as wide a variety of perspectives and it is a key inherent part of Python, which is why I want to make sure we study it. As one final example, an electric guitar is a type of guitar, right? All electric guitars are guitars, but not every guitar is going to be an electric guitar. That just showcases one more example of that type of relationship. In this case, the electric guitar is the subclass and the guitar would serve as the superclass or the uh, the base class that we are deriving from. So in all of these examples, the 
uh, subclass is a more specific type of the, uh, the parent class, the superclass. And I want you to think about that relationship as we start modeling these classes in upcoming lessons in Visual Studio Code. So I don't want this introduction to be too dense. This is just intended to be a super quick introduction. It's totally fine if you don't understand everything here. We're just being very technical here and very boring in our slide deck. But in the next lesson, we're actually going to dive into the code editor and define some subclasses. So as always, I look forward to a great section and I will see you in the next lesson.